Eyewitness News continues. It is a program many people don't even know exists, and when they do find out about it, they often get the wrong impression of what it does and who it serves. So we went to the classroom to see what the Foster Grandparents Program of Southeast Idaho does, and to pay it forward. It's misunderstood because it sounds like a health and welfare program, which it's not. We don't do foster care, we do tutoring and mentoring. That's Lori Murdoch, director of the Foster Grandparents Program of Southeast Idaho. The tutoring and mentoring she's talking about happens in 35 of our area schools. They currently have 56 elderly volunteers in nine different counties. And part of a requirement for the volunteers is 15 to 16 hours a week. But that's one of their biggest challenges along with funding. It's hard to find not just volunteers, but volunteers that are willing to make that big of a commitment. A lot of their volunteers have lost a spouse, so it fills a bit of a void for them. It is. I mean, the self-esteem on both sides, and we've actually seen it in our volunteers, too, changes in our own volunteers because they have that sense of purpose back. Shirley Cowell is one of the volunteers. She used to teach school in New York, but after her husband died, she needed something to occupy her time. She's been volunteering in this program for 14 years now. It's been a need and a gratifying need for me to help children and see how well they do, even with a, a child that needs extra help. As a teacher, it's, I have 25, 24 students, and it just is hard for me to really provide that one-on-one -on -one time with them each day. So this program is magical. If I don't know a word, she helps me. Come I just cool. like it. Then they will really like when we pay it forward. Lori, how are you? Hi. Good, I'm Corey. <laughs> Corey. And I'm with Mountain America Credit Union. Oh, it's nice We've to meet you. We've heard about your organization and what you're doing for the children. And I'm here today to pay it forward. So I brought with me today $500 in cash. Oh my. That we hope will help you continue your impact on the lives of these students. Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know what to say because um, being a nonprofit, it's so difficult to operate. And right. so um, thank you so very much. It's our pleasure. Keep up wow. the good work. The foster grandparents uh, work with the students on more than just reading. Uh, the teacher told me that they tutor in math and other learning skills as well, just whatever one-on-one -on -one time the teacher needs help with. Uh, we visited Linden Park Elementary in Idaho Falls for this story. But if the foster grandparents program is not in your child's school, ask about it with their teacher or administration. And if you would like to become a volunteer or you possibly know of someone who could benefit from it, just go to our website, kidk.com, and I have the information listed in this story. Also, a very small stipend is provided for the volunteers. Our Pay It Forward stories air the second Wednesday of every month, so if you know of a nonprofit organization or someone who deserves to be recognized for their contributions to the area, just let me know. Here's how you can do it. Log on to kidk.com and click on Pay It Forward off to the right side. You look for the Mountain America logo right there, the blue logo. You click on that. It will take you to the page with our past stories. You can see those there as well as fill out that form. All you have to do is click Submit. It will come to me in my inbox, and I will get it. Otherwise, you can just send me a traditional good old email there at the bottom, tkunz, K-U-N-Z, at K-I-D-K dot com. Fun stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Like that, that's just all good. We love it.